Yes, it's another beautiful Friday and we are delighted to come to you this lovely evening. Yes, it's already 9.45 p.m. East African time, Nairobi, Kenya. And we are coming to you live from Maxland Hotel in Juja City Mall. Welcome to Couples Wheel Show. This is where we write down our love. When well, we are alive, we don't want our love stories to be read when we are six feet under. Either we want our love stories to be read when we are gone. And my name is Willie Kinyash. I'm a doctor, love. And tonight, we are going to have a beautiful love story from a very warm and lovely couple ushayota kitu alafu hiyo kitu inakuja kutimia this lady she dreamt or she had a dream of the man of her dreams through a dream am i even making sense but they are right here i am hosting the mwe gas coming to us from ofc Give right 45. Karibuni sana. Thank you so much. Good to have you here. Nafurahi yeah. sana. Yes. Tafala, tafalali mnaweza salimia watazamaji, mwambie nyinyi ni akina nani, alafu tuendelee na history. Story moto sana. Kali bwana. Sawa sawa. Wow. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, Dr. Love, yes. Thank for hosting us here. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Pastor Simon Mwega. And I'm born again, and uh, we pastor there at OFC Overcoming Faith Church in the Rye. We are youth pastor, and we are here together with my wife. And uh, she can say hi. Wow. Yeah. Karibu sana, you can say hi. Yeah, praise God. Uh, my name is Anand Siwaboy or Mrs. Mwega. And I'm born again. Christ is my personal savior. I thank the Lord. I'm a pastor of youth. And we are here together with my husband to be hosted by Dr. Rab. And we are happy to be in this session. Wow. Yeah. Asante ni sana. Mujisikia mm huru. -hmm. Na mkio nyumbani. Yeah. Yes. Haunda wageni wangu. And we are all set to listen to their love story. Mm -hmm. At least ushuhuda yao ni konayo. Hawa najua wa miokoka na kweli wa miokoka. So, sijui nani ya tanzi ya hii story. Mulipata na watu. Wacha tusikie na unajua wadada wanajua kuweka you know, <laughs> details. <laughs> details. Yes, Mrs. Yeah. Mwega. Yeah. Mulipata na huyu jamaa wapi? Okay, to remit 2017. 2017. January. Uh -huh. But there before. You see, yeah. details. Details. January. Si <laughs> <laughs> 2017. Uh -huh. January. Yeah, yeah. January uh, 2017. Uh -huh. Uh, sister Zake, mm -hmm. the, fa the older and the young, mm -hmm. they are my best friend since ah. two or four. Since two or four? When I was in primary. <laughs> so I will not be wrong if I say, <laughs> Mr. Mwega here yeah. got a wife through the sisters. Hallelujah. Shout yeah. <laughs> <laughs> out to the sisters. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are having this conversation here. Awesome. Uh -huh. Yeah, so the younger to go to Nasoma, the same school, mm -hmm. the same class. Mm -hmm. So to come to this class, it was more. Then to go to the board, to go to the board, to go to the board, to go to the board. So one of the Saturdays, we get a cup of beer and the older sister, and we go and be a guy. We have no one to sister yet to, but we need to. We go and say, "Maga, we need jokes." So to keep our children, we go and be a guy, sister, we go and. Na mweleza about my siblings. Mm -hmm. Na hiliko nabiaka kuna brother. So I never knew that the brother would be my husband. Wafi ya nabiaka kabrada. Tuna mwana kabrada. Tuna mwana kabrada. Tuna mwana kabrada yuma. So, uh -huh. but si kuchukule ati one day the brother would be my husband. Wow. Yeah. Tuka, na ni vizuri ukikuwa na watu msie kake my enemy. Uyo mm. sister likuwa ka my best friend, the first best friend tukiwa high school, mm -hmm. atukiwa primary. Mm -hmm. Then ata venye tunimaliza, ata kama mtu eda secondary yake, mm -hmm. tuka keep ire friendship. Yeah. So, ni kamaliza high, high school, mm 
Tukakasa na bila kuonana then tumekuja kumitena na sista yake akitaka kufanya harusi mkubwa. Mm. Tayari tukakaa tena another ka duration mm. then tukakuja ku meet uh, 20 I think 2015 tukao tuna meeting ya baba kuja utebe so tukuja ku meet vizuri sasa ikirekea 2017 hii mm. 2016 kwa december mm. alikuwa sasa kuna siku aliniambianga na sikuja utebe kwetu sasa sister yake sasa the yeah, older sister kana yeah, beni kuja nione kwenye alieda but kwenye alihamia mm. Kaniambia alipata akona twins na kingine kadogo nena nikiwasalimia yeah. na akaniambia wewe kuja unaweza meet my brother hivi mnaweza yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so akoa best alaza kusema ai kwani ameona nikiwa desperate but sikujua <laughs> mimi nikaenda sasa alikuwa na shida kukutana utakuja nini ikaingia sasa January ya 2017 yeah alikuwa na nisubwa jukipata na tuju alikuwa anafanya kazi hapo grade high school ndio <coughs> tunakaanga my mama alikuwa anakapo so one day nikabia my mom wacha niende nikatebe amenisubwa sana mm. so i went to na, na kumbuka kulikuwa na mandi sasa mm. nikaenda nikaenda huko nilifika kitu 5 mm. so tukakaa ikielekea 6 nikamwambia mimi nataka kwenda kaambia pana lazima utagojea my brother hata <laughs> kama ni kumsalimia mm-hmm. so mi nikaka bana yake akakuja akapika tai hapo nikitaka kwenda anambia hapana wambo we gojea mm-hmm. so le, my husband aliingia seven ikienda tu kufika mm-hmm. so nikaona tu kaja na mtoto hivi ameingia mkonda <laughs> <laughs> Niko ataje kusaidia hivi. Wala rudi kaja maka konde konde tu. Kaka. Aiko mbaya atishati ya ya pin kama venye mbaya. Ya mbaya anakumbuka tisha. Na atroze ya grey. So. Alige kasema guy good ni kwa na. Muda yafanya ni waste time yangu hapa. Hapa hakuna mtu hapa. Ai ni. Ni kwa kwa chai tu nikiji nikijeka ma question mix sasa huyu sasa jua alikuwa yeye alikuwa mkoda then sasa ikafika 7 kabia sister kai my mama tata shida juu ni kwa mambo ya sita ka so aso bwana yake akasema wewe hebu zidikisha umsijana mwele mkijuana na mkitaka kubadilishana na aba mpeane sasa alikuwa mnoma so tukaenda kwa karibu kufika home sasa kanifikisha hapo kaniambia by the way nipatie na namba sasa ndio nikakuta maagizo ya sister yake eh namba nilimpea so hiyo namba hakupiga hiyo hiyo mwezi tena tulika sasa nilikuwa na kwa whatsapp hi mambo sasa ni tu ya ile ya kupita na nisalimie uko aje niko poa hakuna kitu kingine so tulienda hivyo kuna wakati sisi yake alikuwa anafugwa kanisa tukaitwa kulikuwa na hiyo sherehe tukaonana hapo tena hatukuonana tena mm-hmm. so tulikuta sasa ku sasa 2017 on october sasa dia kanipigianga simu mm-hmm. but tulikuwa tume una venye mume meet mm-hmm. kuna wakati tulikuwa tume meet tu tulikuwa best mm-hmm. kaniuliza about my past mm-hmm. na nikajua about past yake so nilikuwa nimemwambia head and next mm-hmm kwa metwa wewe ya Kenya mm-hmm. so tukaambia na hivi akirudi ye yeah, hana shida by the way alikuwa so nice kaambia kama akirudi mtaani mimi ni <laughs> sasa tukakaa sasa mwe, mwezi wa kumi dia kanita na tukaambia na tutaomba wait before to fiki hapo uh-huh. nataka kusikia basi uh-huh. uh-huh. wewe mwenyewe umeitisha namba uh-huh. namba unaelewa kwa phone book ya nini na mimi sasa najua Okay okay my okay my sister nilikuwa okay we very close with with her mm-hmm. na nikiwa KU mm-hmm. and I was in studying in KU mm-hmm. yeah, kama niko nje kama niko kidhurai nikitembea niko kwake mm-hmm. so we were very close with her mm-hmm. so nilikuwa nime I trusted her very much mm-hmm. so hata 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 ku, ku, ku connect na the, my wife now <laughs> siku siku na doubt i was 100% hivi uko unajua hii ni sure bet hii ni sure bet hii tangu hii hakuna kukubatisha my sister hagen potoza atasa and direct kwa mtu wa bae abaye sio mrs right i mean 
So naongeza namba umekaa nayo kwa simu. Nikachukua namba sasa. Kwa hiyo ni hapa. Kwa hiyo ni hutumii namba. Nikachukua namba. And before then, I had nilikuwa na experience kidogo za za dating. Lakini ile experience nilikuwa nayo haikuwa mzuri. So I was hesitant. So nilikuwa naogopa. Eh nilikuwa naogopa sababu nilikuwa na hata mimi nilikuwa na ex. Eh after good date hivyo 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 akaniacha. Niacho by the way. So nilikuwa na hiyo experience baya. Sio mimi. Niliachwa. Eh niliacha kwa mata. Jaribu kuvuta kuvurusha mistari mistari. Eh haikuingiana. Uliachwa na yeye akaachwa. Na yeye akaachwa. Sio ni kama mlikuwa Na hiyo kama kwa hiyo na hiyo comes na ave eh watu waira bao wameachwa eh. and they are trusting god eh. they are trusting god for eh. for, a, for a family uh-huh. so tuka i was hesitant but i was praying god mm. at least uh, to see whether the, this one can be my wife wow because by then nilikuwa nimemaliza campus mm-hmm. nilikuwa nimemaliza campus mm-hmm. so i was trusting god wow nipate kazi uh-huh. alafu nipate wife, wife. wow Now here go, here comes my sister. Hallelujah. Na mimi kama destiny connect. Yes. Wa familia yangu. Uh-huh. Na mimi na mimi ni nani? Uh-huh. Kaende kaende. Naye anarusha mistari. Kaende kaende. <laughs> Wacha tusie. Ati huu mwezi wa kumi kumfanyika nini? Tunaambiana mbuombe sijui nini. Eh hey, tuliachana. Na hii kitu ya maombi. Ni inasaidia. Inasaidia. <laughs> Ndiko <laughs> sinuko hata kudirect pale. Ukiambia Mungu akuonyeshe njia atakupeleka to the right one. Yeah. So it is good ukianza anything that you want to start mm-hmm. first put God first. Yeah. Abia Mungu na yakutengeneza njia. Mm-hmm. Ya kwa sababu anasema anga atengenezaga kwenye kuna njia anaweka njia kwenye kuna giza anaweka mwangaza. Mm-hmm. So that time sasa unaona hiyo venye alinyamaza mm-hmm. si unasikia nilikuwa na shida na ex na nilikuwa mm-hmm. na pano na kidonda mm-hmm. ya kumngojea 3 years. Mm-hmm. So nikaanza kusema kwani ataanza kukua kama yule mwingine. Mm. So unaona ile stress unaweka hii naanza kupiga picha ya huyu na yule mm. kama kuna kitu yedi vizuri. So wakati alinipigia kwanza simu ililia but I ran to my mom. Mama kaniuliza na hiyo simu inalia ni ya nani? Kwani utaki kuchukua? Kwani ni huyu mtu mwingine hapa alisubua? Mm. Mama kaniambia ebu ichukue. Na mimi nikachukua sasa kaniambia unaweza patikana na juu siku anafanya kitu kaambia eh kuja so wakati tulipatana kaniambia ameomba Mungu na Mungu amemwonyesha mimi dio right oh. so na mimi nikamwambia venye umeomba wacha mimi nikao <laughs> nae ukaombe nikaombe koje hapo Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu tabia umeenda kuomba uh-huh. wewe ulijibiwa hadi na Mungu na ulijua ni Mungu akakujibu uh, mimi Uh, mimi ni kama Mungu alikuwa amenitayarisha because I was praying for a wife. Nilikuwa naomba hiyo hiyo mzimu afuta kumaliza hata the, the, the last year nikiwa campus I was praying God to give me a wife. Yeah, was, uh, ni kama Mungu alikuwa amenitayarisha. So I was feeling ready. Nataka kuwa na kuwa na jamii. Hey, so msikia so, je ukajua sasa ndio Mungu ameniogelesha ameokea twende kwani iko nini? Eh bwana. Eh ulijuaje ni yeye anakuogelesha? Huyo. Eh. Unajua pengine there is a young man out there watching us. Mm-hmm. Na pengine ameomba lakini hajui vile Mungu anaongea na shaka. Sasa Mungu ameongea ama bado? Mm-hmm. How did you know that God I mean speak here now I can go mm-hmm. and approach her and tell her God has spoken to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I also took time to pray uh-huh. like she is saying uh-huh. I took time to pray as well eh? to direct direct uh-huh. kama nimemo approach uh-huh. ala iswa unasikia um siko anampigia hata like uh-huh. a month or so uh-huh. because I was praying uh-huh. and I was praying God that God you direct me uh-huh. if she is the one uh-huh. so you see mimi nilikuwa na nasikia niko na amani roho yangu wow. I was feeling peace in me uh-huh. so nikajua hapa mm. ukisikia mahali kuna amani nasikia amani hapo ndipo unajua Mungu wako hapo hapo ndipo hapo ndipo mm. eh. so tukaanza maneno <laughs> tukaanza maneno uh-huh. eh tukapanga tukapanga tukakuwa marafiki mm. then i proposed to her 
Ah. Before we come to proposal. Yes. Wewe mm-hmm. huyu ameomba mm-hmm. Mungu amemwambia mm-hmm. usichana ni huyu. <laughs> Wewe na yeye ukamwambia unaenda kuomba. So kwa sababu <clears throat> Nikuwa nafikiri atakuwa kama yule ex mwingine. Ambie tunakuombea. Sikukubali haraka. Aliniambia nini kamwambia. Kwani mtu alikuwa anafanya nini? Nika alikuhat sana. Sana. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so nikamwambia wacha nena mimi niombe Mungu aniogeshe. So nikakuja. Sasa ni kwanza nilikaa tuseme kama one week nikifikiria lakini nikasema it is ni time nzuri niombe because me am my intercessor. Mm-hmm. So I took my three days. Na kabla tukuja kupata nuko tulikuwa tumeenda huko Isinya fasting tukiwa na na my apostle. So nilikuwa naambia Mungu anipatie. Mzee apostle. Apostle Nganga. Yalikuwa ya. Ah, Kenya one. Kenya one. Commander. Commander. Only commander. Yeah, there are come my apostle. Even though he is my spiritual father of Ron Nihama, nimefanya harusi na akanipea ruhusa. So wakati nilikuwa na ile mambo ya ex Niliendaga kuomba nikaambia Mungu in your mouth the Lord says shall provide. Na it was good it was three days tulikuwa mpaka na anointing na nikasikia kuna kitu kwa roho. Sadio tulikuja kukupatana na sister akaanza kuniambia kuja kuja. So hapa tena huyo ameniambia Mungu amemuonyesha so nikasema nita hata kama sada kwa mlima nikafugia tu kwa nyumba nikaambia my mom nataka nipate uh, three days niulize Mungu kama ni yeye kwa sababu wakati nenda huko kwa mlima siku siku Mungu nataka huyu i just say, i just need a mr right mm. so nikaanza kuomba between huyu na ex Mungu ni nani Mungu ndiye anipatie ufunuo ni sida nisijipeleke kwa sababu tinasikia juu nimeumizwa na yule so ni nichukua time yangu kuomba so i had a dream ujue kuomba ni kuzuri nikaambia my mom nisaidie kuomba so kwa my first dream nikaona niko hapo nje kwetu nimekaa kupako na kamawe nikaona gari imekuja mama yake ninamjua juu kule mamjua kitabu akija kutembelea the sisters mm-hmm. nikaona mama yake na wamama sasa kakikudi ya wamama wanakuja wakiba hold huko kwa nyina wa boy wanaiba wanapiga hold kwe mm-hmm. kwetu hai ni kwa ndoto hii mhm na my mom that duration na my mom akaota ati akiambia mtu msichana wangu analo na kijana mweusi na ex alikuwa mweupe so my mama kanipea hiyo ndio sasa hizo ni doto bili so yangu ya mwisho nikaota bado ati yule ex wangu alikuwa mahali pako na maji chafu nikasikuwa nasema ah nilikuwa pale pale sitawairu huyu naye alikuwa pale pazuri sasa nikikana hizo doto zangu zote nikao na kweli mungu ako anataka Mr. Simon na kwa my husband. So nikajua Mungu amenithibitishia. Yeah. Na hapo siku na mali sikukwambia, nilikuwa nimeambia sasa u Bishop Maina, sasa hizi yako Mombasa, alipelekwa Mombasa. Sasa hizo walikuwa Gareverred. Ndio alikuwa na deal na youth. Kuna wakati nilikuwa nimempea story ya ex. So alikuwa anaobaga. So hiyo time bado nikioba akanipigia simu it was on a Wednesday mm-hmm. kanipigia simu akanipa Nancy unaweza fika kwa ofisi kamwambia yeye kuja kaniambia Nancy usirudi kuombe ex tena Mungu amenambia hapo hapana mm-hmm. anza kuambia Mungu akupe mwingine so naona hizo zinapelekana mm-hmm. nikaona kwa ex Mungu hayuko mm-hmm. so nikakuja sasa mimi mwenyewe nikajua huyu die my Mr. Mr. Right. Mr. Right. Mr. Right. Udi mwenye nimeshida kuchibia kwa maombi. Ndio <laughs> huyu. <laughs> Unaweza sema huyu ulimpata kwanza kwa ndoto. Huyu ni Mungu alinipatia. Mungu kwa ndoto akakutokelezea na kukuletea mtu. Ndio huyu. Eh, ndio huyu. Wow. After so many fasting, <laughs> I, I, I used to go even seven days. <laughs> Mimi am going in fasting. Wow. Seven days, seven kwa na ndanga hivyo. Nikitoka hii mood Mhm mko ni... hapo tu unakuwa Monday to Saturday na unataka mm. mtu na <laughs> wewe na unasikia watu wanafunga siku saba wakiongea Because mimi nilikuwa na nataka Mungu anibariki na ndio yeye sita siku langu. Mm. Yaani watoto wangu wataenjoy baba yao. Mm. Na na mimi nitaenjoy my husband. Mm. Ni nilikuwa nataka watoto wangu wakuwe na father love, yeah. unaona? Mm. Na mother love. Mm. So nilikuwa nataka ile kitu Mungu atanipea mm-hmm. sitawa i regret. Mm-hmm. Ada ukiuja tuma shida hapo katikati mm-hmm. wanaipre 
mambo inakuwa mzuri mm-hmm. ya yeah. na today can you regret No, I don't. You don't regret. I don't Why regret. Yeah. <laughs> wow. He's my best friend. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Mr. Mwega. Yes. So, how did you do the proposal? A uh, proposal pia tulipanga. Ah, uh, tukapanga, tukapanga with my friends. Ah, uh, one of uh, uh, some of my best friends tulipanga na hiyo proposal tulifanyia. I remember tulifanyia kwa Fred yake. Uh-huh. She is called Caroline. Uh-huh. And they are still fed up to date. Uh-huh. So tulifanya huko. Uh-huh. And uh, so to the organizing na Caroline because they were they are they were they were the best okay they were best friend with Caroline. Eh? Uh-huh. So tulifanya kwa Caroline tukapanga tukapanga na eh so one of the evenings to nika 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 achilia mali. Uka achilia mali. Achilia achilia. Tulipanga kwa nyumba huko kwa nyumba tukapanga vizuri with my friends. Tukajificha huko kwa nyumba. Sasa na Caroline akamwendea. Akamwendea kwa. Ukamwambia, "Ma." Akamwambia. Akamwambia, akamwambia kuja. Anasema alikwambia aje. Tumefanyia maneno. Caroline alikuwa ameniambia It was by the way he proposed on my birthday. During oh, birthday yake. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. May 29. Yes. So Karol kwa mimi kuna siku nienda kwa Karol. Kaniambia wabu ebu ebu va hi pete sijui ananipima. Kuna tupeta alikuwa anapenda kuvaa. Wewe unaweza kaaje? Nini kavaa? So sijui kama ni kunipima ananipi. Ah. Sana kaniambia ebu toa. Ukipata mtu wako tasema umetoa wapi? Mm-hmm. Sasa kaniambia birthday yako tunakupangia ate siju kuna alikuwa anakuja hapo Ruisambo tukachukue viazi mm. tukuje tupike chipo nyumba ya mamruhusa sasa tuwale huko kwake tukule ti sasa mimi kwa najua ni chipo <laughs> sasa mimi <laughs> ndio mpangia kwa nyumba sasa mimi nikaenda na alikuwa amehintia my mom <laughs> so mimi nikaenda bafu kukuja nikava aki wanifanyia mambo kasikati kingine hapo kuna kasikati kwa napenda kanevi blue <laughs> Sasa mama kaniuliza, "Hako na gogine unaweza vaa?" Nikaambia, "Mnaenda wapi?" Mm-hmm. Sinafika hapa kwa Karo. Mm-hmm. So naye mama tayari kuniambia kuna kitu. So mimi nivaa kaskati kaku na ka blouse. Aija. So Karo akakuja. Kufika hapo nje ya gate, nikamwambia, "Kwani lazima nipade?" "Hapana. Twende sijui ni badisha viatu kwani utakaa hapa." Mm-hmm. Kubara ananivuruta. Sasa mimi hata kichwa yangu haiko huko. Mm-hmm kwanza tunapata stress nikimwambia aki mtu wangu hata kuniambia ka happy birthday hakuna yes siku by the way usiku sija muongelesha mahali so mimi naenda kama kama hapa baadhi bisi ya mwisho hakuna blank yeye nilipata ni safari ko ile happy birthday sasa mimi naenda kama nilipata sasa hakuna siko na waya hakuna kitu najua hapo palikuwa na kitu my sister wa uko mwenye na kama opasa kanipiga simu sasa mimi nachukua si eh hey, my sister mama bana sasa naongea na gufu <laughs> sasa sijui mimi tunaongea hapo then kuingia kwa nyumba na bia karo ai kwani uko hakuna stima jua liko acha lazima mpaka stima baba hakuna <laughs> sasa sitting room kuko giza mimi na kujaribu kuasha the bar kube sasa bwana yake kuna venye ame collect haiwezi kaakia hapo <laughs> Mimi namwambia Karo, "Kwani uko huko? Kwani hujaweka toke?" Alafu alikuwa mpaka wamepika. Namwambia, "Eh, kuna nuka cha kwa sababu niko na cha." Sasa, wacha nione stima zimewasha. Sasa kwanza walitoa watu wenye sijui. But ni mabest wake sasa kabla waya zikuje. Wale ninajua walikuwa washajificha kwa cho. Sasa wanaasha stima Then kwa TV naona tupita tu wangu happy birthday. Sasa mimi fry kanija. Hata sifikiri maneno yake. Mimi nasema karo na bwana yake ni watu wazuri. Watu wazuri sana. Unanipatia unanipatia birthday. Sasa tena wakaniambia kuna bistay to bado naitwa mama Shiko. Kaniambia wapo api mimi nafurahia. Hebu tukufuge macho. Sasa tukikutukuonyesha kitu mzuri. Mimi niko nafikiria nimesha kiki. Sasa mimi wende kwa Bien, ah, 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 ah,
Aku ni jadi jadi ni aku. Wow. Jadi sih kau lihat aja pati itu masih nice. Wow. Wow. How did you feel? Wow, I felt good. I felt felt so so good. Of course, he said yes. Yes. Yes, I do. Aku kau nak mana no? Aku tak tulia. Aku tak aku tak tulia. Where you marry me? Eh. Kasama. Yes. Yes, I do. Wow. Wow. Ah. And then, sasa mungkin of course. Sasa ni kwanza kupanga arusi. Mm. Uh, of course, mkipanga mambo ya arusi, kuna mambo ya dawari. Mm. How, how was that? So, dawari, mm. kabla tukuja kwa proposal, so, kwa kulikuwa na charge, juu maimamu wako mepeleke wa dawari. Mm. Because first of all, maimamu alianza kukomplete ya shosho. Mm. Na kukai ilikuwa jukumu yake, but haku shida, na nimitu alikuwa na pesa. By the way, he was a teacher. So, ye haa kutakuwa bibi yake. So, wakati shoshua likufa, kwe tukakuwa na hiyo mashida. Brother za mamu wakakufa, wamepaga na sister. Haka ito sasa na maandiza yake, kabio hii kifu inaletwa na idawadi. So, my mama kajipaga vizuri, haka pereka. So, kupereka mabu ikaturia. So, my mamu na hea kaposa, haka turia. So, so, ni sasa mabu imekuja, sasa ni mine taa kurewa. Na mi ni kabia mungu. Ati maimamu dia takula dawari yago. Haita jukuka likuwa uhai. Dwa likuja kupasa kama ni mebakia mwezi moja nifanya ya rusi. So ni kabia mungu. Mungu sikubali. Uka akule da maidawari. Nataka maimamu I enjoy. Kwa sababu waliperekea wama yake. So sasa wakati my husband alikuja. Akawabia nataka kuleta dawari April 2018. Venya alienda wakaniambia pana. Mwambia asogesha juu. Na sisi tuko tumejipanga. So wakati nikaya nikamwabia peleke huko anze kupagia jurai. So hapa tumekuja tumeanza kupanga. Kazi ya dadi meisha na ni January 2018. Nadio tunapanga tufanya rusi tupeleke dawari. Na sasa babagu kazi imesimama hana. Na alikuwa napanga sasa kwanza peleke mamu. Kumefugana. Kazi imeisha. Na mimi mwenyewe sina. Una kazi. My sister kuko mbasa na sema na kazi yake haiedi vizuri. So it was a challenge kwa sababu shetani ataki ni edi through. Kuna zile barriers alikuwa nataka kuleta. So in that January nikaitua kazi ya kuuza keki hapa 44. Sasa in the morning nikapata venye nikuwa na kuambia during bidi. Iyo asubui sasa kitu 5 juni ya muka 6. Nikasiki nyubo bidi za shiru wa GP. Kuna yasema dukana tire dukana geguka muadhani na ingine ya agiginya ni nime watagira kiradhimo. So nikamuka nikabia my mom. Izi duimbiri zina maanisha nini. Kanyambia kwaza enda wangari okazi then kuje tutajua ni haji. Kufika huko huyo madamu haku show up. Nikapiga simzake zimeda mteja. Up to satatu mi nikarudi home. Nikagojea pea fungue Maybe nitampigia hakufungua, alikuwa nafungua five. Nikajua hapo mungu hakuwa na amenita. The four in day nikapita hapo nikapata ameajiri mtu mingine. So nikarudi, niko down. Siju nitaenda wapi na mungu sasa hamefungua jebati. Kuna hizi broke shetani ya naeka. So kuna kazi nikuwa nafanya kushona vitu vitabaza masudanis. Yani nikitaba lakini ukumusho unatengeneza na crochet. So nilikuwa na miatatu, nikabia maimamu, I have to pray. Mi mido ya gwa hita simamisho na jaburo rote kwa sababu ni meomba sana. So nikachukua miatatu, nikachukua karatasi. Nikuwa nikuja nao nikasau. Iyo karatasi nikadika, maimamu, dawari, nikadika date 14, 2018. So zile miatatu nikeda three days fasting, kuwabia mungu afugue jia. Sandi nikamuka nikeda fast service. Apostu wakaitisha pesa ya madhabahu. So nikitoka nikana nikiabia mungu, hizi nasifanya milioni. Mungu fugua jia pesa za mamu zipatika, nikana nikaekerea. So kurudi nikabia mamu itakuja hapa juu. Fuzi hapo. Fuzi hapo. So umeenda, umechukua sacrifice. 300, si pesa mungu. Upeleke, jio 
Mungu afungue njia. Mungu njia. Mama kwa apate pesa, mm-hmm. aende kupeleka dawari. Mm-hmm. Ndio your husband na yeye. Aweze apate dawa. Aweze kuleta dawa. Aweze mm-hmm. kupeleka. Nataka tusimamie hapo. Mm-hmm. Eh, next Friday. Tunachukulia kutoka hapo. Mm-hmm. Si ni sawa? Yeah. So thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Na mbarikiwe sana. Mm-hmm. Eh. Si ni watu wa imani. <laughs> Ama watu wa imani. Mm-hmm. Sure. Wow. Talk of journey of faith. This is a real journey of faith. And want to know what happened next. After she went to church and gave that sacrifice of 300 shillings. Did God open those for her? What happened? Make sure that you tune in next Friday as we continue with this lovely love story. I was hosting the Mwegas. And if this is your first time to be here, kindly make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. My name is Willy Kinyash and this is Couples Will Show. This is where we write down our love when well, we are alive for we don't want our love stories to be read when we are six feet under. Neither we want our love stories to be read when we are gone. For now it is a good night. See you on Friday. Kwa area kwa nana. Thank you.